is towards only the despicable, despicable qualities of Brahman. Then Karanatva Shruti and Nirvikaratva Shruti, how he res resolves the conflict there by making use of this Sharira Shariri Bhava, restricting Nirvikaratva to the Surupa and Karanatva to the uh, Sharira. So all this he has done and all of us know about these things. But how he could arrive at these things? That is the big question. That is answered by that shloka that I quoted first. So, it seems Ramanuja has been very deeply impacted by the outpourings of the Alvars, the divine sages. It was through their posurams that Ramanuja could come at these conclusions, it seems. Let me quote one thing. See, the Bheda Shruti and Abheda Shrutis, he resolves the conflict using these Ghataka Shrutis, which are found in this Brihadar Nika and Subhala Upanishad. Yaha Prithivyam Tishtan Prithivyaha Antaraha Yam Prithivyana Veda Sate Atma Antaryan Yamrataha. So also, I mean, uh, some 22 times it is repeated. Yaha Apsu Tishtan, Vayav Tishtan, Akashi Tishtan, etc. The Atmani Tishtan. But how he does this, it is said, the key has been provided by Namalvar's Pasaram, wherein Namalvar says, Wooden, Misai, Uyirana, Karan, Dengum, Parandodan. See, the three sets of passages are available to all the philosophers, but they could not arrive at, but Ramanuja has. Still, it is not everywhere that all words speak about this kind of thing. Only at certain places, but that has given the key to Ramanuja. If he, how we can conclude that it is because of that Ramanuja has come to this conclusion. If you look at the five commentaries of Theravai Mudi, the first one, Arai Rapadi, is very, very concise, very laconic. But for this particular posuram, Vodan Misai Virana Karandangum Paradhulan, that commentary is the biggest of all. How? See, Pillan, who is the author of this commentary, he's, he's the blood relative of Ramanuja. And uh, Ramanuja, it seems, initially did not give his permission to compose a commentary on Thiruvayamadi. With great difficulty that Pillan could persuade Ramanuja to get permission to write a commentary. There, he does this. That means, during his times, so much of discussion must have gone through about how to resolve the conflict with regard to these Shruti texts, wherein this particular Ghataka Shrutis have to be employed there. Again, with regard to the Nirguna and the Saguna Shrutis, how Ramanuja could restrict the meaning of the Nirguna Shrutis with respect to only the uh, despicable qualities, not the, not all qualities. This also is based on Alvar's Pasuram, wherein the very first Pasuram of Namalvar is in his Thiruvayamadi, Uyarvara Uyarnalam Udayavan, which he literally translates as Asankheya Kalyana Gunagana. Whenever Ramanuja speaks of uh, Parabrahma or Paramatma, usually he comments, he gives a prelude. He qualifies it with as much, uh, I mean, gunas of Brahma. He's, he doesn't mean words there. See, for instance, take for example, the very first uh, uh, sutra of Brahma Sudra, Athato Brahma Jignasa wherein the word Brahman, Brahma has been commented. What uh, Shankara has given is, as the definition of Brahma Shabda, Brahmacha Vakshyamana Lakshanam Janmad Yasya Yatayiti. Only this much. What Ramanuja says is, Brahma Shabdayanacha Swabhavato Nirastha Nikhila Doshaha Anavadhikatashi Asankheya Kalyana Gunaganaha Purushottamo Bhidiyate. 
See? How this? Ramanuja was a scholar, of course, but before that, he was a devotee. It's very difficult for the two things to go together. A scholar, his scholarship doesn't allow him to bow down. A devotee very rarely becomes a scholar. It's very difficult to find both things together. This itself is a very rare, I mean, a rarity. And we find a harmonious blend of these two in Ramanuja. <coughs> He's a, he was a very towering personality, it seems, a magnetic personality. So many people drawn towards him without their control. But his, he had concerns. Always, always he had concerns for the lowest of people. He had so many devotees, right from kings, so many sannyasins were his devotees, so many prabhus, but he had also the lowest from the society as his devotees, and his concern was more towards them. I will quote some incidents from the life of Ramanuja, which are very remarkable. All of us know how he went 18 times to Tirukurtur Nambi to get that Rahasyartha. But we don't know the things that happened before. I mean, might have, some of the things we need, we might not have paid attention to as much as we need to have. See, before Ramanuja was born, his Divya Mangala Vigraha was born. That came to Nathamuni by the grace of Namalwar. And Nathamuni asked Na Namalwar whether he would be able to see the person who has, whose image he has got now, whose Pratima has got. He has been told, no, you will not see, but only your grandson will be will have that fortunate, he will be fortunate enough to see him. So, this Vigraha, Divya Vigraha was in the puja of Nathamuni, handed over to his grandson, Yamunacharya, and from him it has gone to the hands of Tirukkoshtiyur Nambi, who was to give the meanings of the Rahasyas to Ramanuja. So Tirukkoshtiyur Nambi was very well aware of who Ramanuja was. He was an avatar. Number one. <coughs> Next was, there was the express commandment of Yamunacharya to all his disciples, including Tirukkoshtiyur Nambi, to give all that they have learned from Yamuna to Ramanuja, because he was to be the, uh, take the kajals next. So it has gone to, I mean, he knew that he, it was his duty to give it to Ramanuja. And there was an occasion when Nambi has gone to Srirangam during what is known as a Tirunal, which now goes on in Srirangam, this Rampatya and Pakalpati Utsavam. And he had the darshan of the Lord and all. At that time, what happens? Suddenly, through, it is said, Achaka Mukhena, through the Achaka, the Lord himself gives his command and commandment, can't you give the meanings of the Rahasyas to our Ramanuja? See, imagine, by then itself, Ramanuja was a very, very popular person. He was commanding a large number of disciples. And Trikoshti Rambi was nobody compared to Ramanuja then. Imagine if the situation were like this, like that today, he would have gone forward to give everything to Ramanuja. But even after the commandment of the Lord, at the time, Ramanuja was, you won't imagine how much ecstatic he was feeling about getting this command from, commandment from the Lord in front of him. He has, been, he has been instructed by the Lord himself to give the meanings. But what Nambi did was, and after the thing was over, 
when ramanuja without retiring to his mat he was going straight to see trikoshti or nambi <coughs> expecting him to give the meanings then and there but what happened was nambi says please come to trikoshti or there i will give okay as soon as this utsava was over ramanuja departs to trikoshti or there first time he goes there he enters into that village <coughs> ask the people there which is the place of trikoshti or nambi the people there they are not even they don't know about this the greatness of trikoshti or nambi they are just thinking it's a small normal sadhu like that the moment they tell that is the place ramanuja starts prostrating from that place prostrates gets up prostrates gets up and go to that goes to reaches the uh, place of trikoshti or nambi at that time he has not been given that upadesha first time then goes back to sirangam comes back second time third time fourth time it is not that we must know ramanuja is un- unaware of what nambi was to give him he knew actually just it was the need there was a shastrik injunction acharya dhyava vidya vidita sadhittam prapade any meaning you need to get from an acharya in a proper manner that is what is going to be useful to you so that was the reason he was to get the meaning from trikoshti or nambi but it was not to come forth maybe a people of our kind might have given up after a few times four times five times 18th time also he was not sure if he was to go he was going to get but what we need to know is if nambi was to have asked ramanuja to come for another 100 times ramanuja would not have given up that is what is the great now that is what makes him stand out so he gets that mantra but i mean what happens people all this time ramanuja has been coming and every time he comes the moment Nam- nambi rejects he just doesn't go away he will be there stay for stay there for a day or two and then give his lectures to the people there being such a devotee he would also see want to see that everybody was devoted to the lord he was a spiritual engine who took hundreds of tools, souls to the kingdom of god through his upadeshas so that is what he was doing then also so at that time people there they were asking him if this was going to be so difficult for you to get think of our state how are we to get this mantra from trikoshti or nambi not possible so in case you happen to get that please don't forget us we would also like to have so after that what happens 18th time nambi somehow condescends to give the meaning so every time ramanuja goes to his house people will follow him he will come back empty handed with a with down headed face they will know but this time when he comes his face was blooming so they all were happy but they didn't know what has happened inside before giving the instruction nambi at that time also has taken a vow from ramanuja that he will not give it to anybody without due pariksha and ramanuja was to abrogate this then so he makes a sign to these people who have requested him every time who have accompanied him he takes them to the temple and that uh, even th- at that time he didn't go to some he, he goes to the first prakara where there are steps if you go to trikoshti you can see there is a secluded spot kind of thing in that gopura that is where he gave the instruction to those people who were accompanying who were requesting him not to all and sundry which is just not going to be of any use so this was ramanuja see the contrast his own acharya who was so protective ramanuja who was 
so very large hearted the news reaches nambi he comes back and all these things we know who you did it ramonaja says i may go to this hell but see so many will go to god that was his large heart and uh, this other episode also we know about ramonaja wherein he has given entry to this tirukkulathar into the temple but there is a precedent for that before ramonaja this has been done by lord ranganatha himself in the case of tirupanalvar alvar he thinks he was an outcast he doesn't want to not enter into the temple but into the presence of shiranga itself the kshetra itself he didn't want to enter he was standing away and such a person and he, he makes this his own servant to carry him into the temple the next instant was there was one maraneri nambi who was a disciple of alavandar his guru this maraneri nambi was of a lower caste but he was very dear to the heart of yamunacharya during his last days he has made a request specifically to periyan nambi ramonaja samashrina acharya not to let him down after his demise not to let his body taken away by his relatives but he did something about it accordingly I mean periyanambi accedes to his request and accordingly after his demise what he did was he did not bury him he did not just cremate him he cremated with what is known as brahmameda samskara the highest honor given to a very great noble soul and this was subjected to by all at that time ramanuja knew the heart of his acharya but for the sake of people around he went and argued with his acharya he argued with him how you did this for that the reply given by his acharya was is nambi inferior to um that um, rama avatar uh, uh, jatayu and am i superior to rama that was the reply given 